What's up Stanleys, welcome to the best family on all of YouTube. So today, this is going to be a very different video. Today, I'm going to be talking about something that's very, very personal. And it really makes me nervous to even talk about this, but I feel I've been keeping this inside for me for too long and I need to be true and authentic to myself and just represent who I am and embrace it fully without any fear at all. It's going to be something that is very personal and something that I've never ever ever spoke about on YouTube my entire career. Ever since I was young, I knew that I was different. When I was young, I always knew who I was and my biggest insecurity growing up was that I was not masculine enough, that I would never be male enough for anyone or society and that if I even expressed who I was in my feminine side that, that for my entire life I couldn't be who I truly am, that I would have to just put myself in a box, restrict myself and just in a way, looking back in hindsight, be unauthentic because being who you are is most important in this life. Don't care about what other people think and just be, that's all that your heart asks for, just to be yourself and to embrace it completely without any fear of being, that's how I become strong internally, by being who I truly am and to test my limits, just to be myself and irregardless of what other people think, just, I didn't know right away I was different. I knew that since I was 11 or 12 that I just wanted to embrace being a little bit feminine from time to time and I grew up in a school where, you know, boys were stereotypically straight and they were masculine and I was always just wanting to become more masculine and more manly for other people, for other people's substance. Inside, I felt that I just needed to be a little bit different and that being different is not a problem at all and that it is perfectly okay to be different to wear makeup and to just embrace a side that people may have not seen yet before. I was always terrified of my sexuality, like I didn't want to embrace it at all. It was something that just talking about it would send shivers down my spine and my stepfather wasn't really accepting of the LGBTQ community so I just couldn't be myself and I thought that I would never ever ever be able to be who I want to be and that I thought that being authentic to oneself was a privilege and not even a right that everyone should have because I felt that I had to conform to society standards and if not, then I would be a failure and that, and also my stepfather really struggled to really accept the LGBTQ community he was a great man, one of the most amazing people alive before he passed away and he just he shaped my life a ton and he's just a beautiful soul and he's been through a lot but he's just a beautiful soul on the inside but I always internally disagreed with him about the LGBTQ community I felt inside that the LGBTQ community were people just like everyone else, no different and strong to embrace themselves when there are millions of people who probably disagree with the LGBTQ community itself. And accepting myself to be part of the LGBTQ community was not just hard, but it's changed how I looked at life in general. And when I'm thinking about how I'm part of the LGBTQ community, especially when I was younger, about at age 16, it felt great to be part of the community that I could just be myself and be authentic. Just enjoy life much more in general because in life, you are supposed to be authentic to yourself. The struggle is that in life, you have to be authentic to yourself while still maintaining a successful career in life. And being LGBTQ, I wouldn't consider it to be something that would actually affect your life or career I be, but I see it something as something very personal that your soul can relate to and it affects your life in a way especially in your mindset and how you view people do you see people as all equal do you see all human beings as amazing wonderful powerful strong humans if you do so then you should accept all walks of life in every community which I heavily do and I especially support the expanding universe community but also sometimes I just want to be personal with myself and personal parts of my life out there so I can just feel free and just release any tension or pressure on my shoulders release any tension on my shoulder and just be free be a free human being at age 16 I thought I was transgender for some reason and for any transgender people out there I'm proud of you you are strong you are beautiful and don't let anyone stop you. At age 16, I thought I was transgender for some reason because that's when I really, really want to express my feminine side because I've never expressed my feminine side until I was 16 years old, my entire life living really strict as just straight masculine male. But when I was 16, I just discovered my sexuality and really embraced it in the outside, not just in the inside. And I didn't even identify as LGBTQ, I was just being myself. And being myself made me fear about the actual perspective of others on me. I realized after a time when I was 17 years old that I was male but bi curious and that I was attracted to mostly women but also I was attracted to male at times too and I felt that I discovered my sexuality and my gender was pretty much male when I was 17 years old. I mean I did feel like that I was truly female in, in ways but I know inside that I am a male 
but I just have a feminine side to my personality and I could be a male, straight male, but also have a very feminine side in my heart and I'm still discovering my sexuality every day, but I knew that when I was 17, I identified as a male. But, and when I was 18, I thought I was bi-gender, which meant that I, I didn't really feel that way. But I felt like inside my heart, I felt that way, but I didn't feel like I really wanted to identify to that extent. Identify as LGBTQ to that extent. I mean, it's wonderful to embrace being who you are, but I just didn't feel like that was me. I felt like I was a male and a male all the time, but I just had sometimes a feminine perspective on life and and it's really difficult understanding my sexuality because it's multifaceted and it's just not in one aspect but you know there's many different manners and aspects to my sexuality and it's a very big struggle because sometimes i can be you know very very masculine you know like i talk with a lower voice and dress completely male and that's how i am usually but Many of the times I'm very feminine inside and express my emotions in sometimes a feminine way which is perfectly okay because you know, everyone should have the right to embrace their emotions the way they want to and, and the conclusion was that at age 19 I finally discovered my true sexuality and gender which is you know, that I am a male, a bisexual male and I'm really proud to say that and that is my sexuality and I don't care what other people think, it's the way I am and embrace who you are because you are beautiful and I guarantee that sometimes you feel helpless and just not worth it but everyone is worth a beautiful wonderful powerful life and if you work hard enough i believe that anyone can achieve their dreams i know everyone says that nowadays and it's, and it's really cliche but i believe that if you work hard enough you can achieve your dreams and everyone in their life has to start somewhere and i believe that building a foundation and just not rushing the dreams but visualizing each day as you know a step and step and step process to build your empire and because being queer really motivated me to just become stronger and to really empower the peace inside me that I just wanted to neglect and forget and abandon. Because when you grow up knowing very, very few queer people, it's very easy and vulnerable to feel alone and to feel like an outsider. Because when I first realized that I was truly LGBTQ at age 17 or 16, I felt like an outsider. I felt I just didn't belong in anyone's lives. I felt miserable and I just... I did not want to accept the fact that I was completely different from what I may want to be and that being different doesn't make me lesser of a male or lesser of a human and that being different just makes me part of a grand variety and special and I want you to embrace yourself today. Just, just think about one thing in your life that you are really grateful and thankful for. Maybe family, friends, maybe it's a passion, maybe it's like a movie, a TV show, music, like Troy Sivan, you know, Star Wars, Expanding Universe, you know, whatever it may be, just be thankful for that. And I'm not saying that use everything that you love as motivation. The parts that are truly meaningful to you and touch your heart and use that to just make you feel powerful because everyone in this earth is powerful and I believe that power is in the mind and that we all have power and as content creators we are just pushing the envelope with making maybe personal videos, maybe informative videos or whatever it may be, express yourself, speak, communicate, engage in the community and just be the one to set your own precedent because I believe that everyone has a special, special gift from God and God bless all of you. Thanks for all the subscribers, likes, and comments. I truly, truly, truly appreciate it with all my heart. And I'm so, so thankful to have a platform to speak about my personal issues and personal struggles and endeavors. And we're just a family, a great family. And we're going to keep growing. We're going to keep, you know, reaching milestones. And just to think about and imagine how many people I've inspired in their life and how many people I have actually impact or influence in their life and, may and maybe made them think a little bit differently outside the box, which is something that I'm very passionate about. So, if you enjoyed this video where I come out as bisexual, please smash that like button, comment, subscribe, share this video. I want to share my message and I really want to influence, impact, and inspire people. This is my dream and this is a very, very personal video and I'm just so glad that I'm able to make this video because this is a video that I've been wanting to make for a very, very long time. So share, like, comment, subscribe, and like anytime. May the force be with you. Always.